It's the Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. children and seeing all your smiling faces. Oh, I'm sorry, Mother, but this is the only chance we get to do any reading. Yeah, the rest of the time we're too busy watching television. <laughs> well, Sherman, you better find time to write to your mother, and you two ought to drop her a note. Aunt Viv's been gone almost a week. Oh, I've been okay. meaning to. I forgot. I'll do it tonight. Okay. Anything interesting in the paper, Chris? Well, the society column says that a countess is coming here to Danfield. A countess? Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. What's a countess? A female count. <laughs> it said the countess used to live here in Danfield. Here in Danfield? Mm -hmm. Let me see that. Over there. Countess Framboise, former Rosita Harrigan of Danfield, will return here. Rosie Harrigan! I used to know her. You know a real countess? Yeah, we were school chums together when she was plain old Rosie Harrigan. We used to be on the basketball team together. Boy, could she dribble. How did she ever meet a count? Well, one summer she went to Paris for a vacation. She asked me to go with her. But I went to Poughkeepsie instead. I'll get it. Okay, dear. Boy, I'll bet Danfield will seem pretty dull after Paris. <laughs> Danfield is pretty dull even after Poughkeepsie. <laughs> it's a telegram for you, Mom. Who would be sending me a wire? Maybe it's from Aunt Viv. Maybe she ran out of money. Oh, Aunt Viv knows better than to wire me for money. Who is it, Mom? Arriving in Danfield today, may I stay with you until I get settled? Can't wait to see you love and kisses. Rosie Harrigan Framboise. The Countess is going to stay with us? Well, uh, well, yes, she can stay as long as Aunt Viv's away. Oh, gee, imagine a real Countess coming to stay with us. Yeah, a real live, full-fledged, full-blooded Countess. Gee, that ought to make Danfield society sit up and take notice. Yeah. Oh, what are we doing sitting here? We gotta get the house cleaned up. You clean up the upstairs, I'll do the downstairs. Okay. Hurry up now, do a good job. Listen, children, come here. Now remember, I want you to be very polite when you meet the Countess. Chris, I want you to curtsy. Okay. And I want you boys to bow, okay? I want to make a ve She's here already. Oh. Remember now, act nicely. Try to make a real good impression, okay? Rosie! <laughs> My name is Sam. Where do you want them? Want what? Luggage for the Countess. Oh, oh, just put it any place. All righty. Come on, men. Let's get going in here now. Children, will you stay out of the way, please? Because you'll get be... right over here. That's good. Thank you very much. Good. That'll be fine, right will there. Will you stay out of the way, madam? Because... Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Stay out of the way now. Stay out of the way. There's much more. Where are we going to put all this? That's quite all right, dear. Look at this boy. Stay out of the way, will you please? Get out of the way. Now, come on, son. Look at all the places she's been. She's been all over the world, darling. Oh, wouldn't it be exciting? Yes, I think it's been very exciting. Boys, now stay out of the way. Oh, where are we going to put all of this, Mother? All right. Get back out of the way. Get. Oh, please, ma'am. That's good, boys. Keep coming. 
with it. That's fine. you weren't blonde. And you weren't a redhead. <laughs> well, outside of that, we haven't changed a bit. Not a bit. <laughs> now, darling, you've got my wife. Oh, yes, I did, dear. And it's all right if I stay a couple of days? It's all right if you stay a couple of weeks. My friend Viv is not here now. Oh, bless you, darling. <laughs> well, hello there. Are these your children? Well, some of them, yes. Oh. Uh, Chris and Jerry are mine, and that's Sherman. He's Viv's. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> oh, so sweet. Ah, uh, les enfants. Si mignon. Si formidable. Uh, yeah, you see what I told you? <laughs> now, now, why don't you children run along? I'd like to talk to the countess. Yes, that's what I huh? This is so beautiful. <laughs> Gee, your husband must have been wonderful to you. <laughs> what was his name again? I never could pronounce it. Oh. Le Comte Henri Gaston Armand Jean-Louis Philippe Framboise de Cul de Sac. <laughs> <laughs> but I called him Saxy. <laughs> Saxy? Oh, how cute. Go on, tell me what happened, Rosie. Oh, well, dear, after my husband died, I... Wandered around Europe for about a year, and then I decided to come back to Danfield for a while. Do you think maybe you'll buy an estate and settle down here? Well, it's not very likely. I'm flat broke. <laughs> You're broke? Broke. Oh, but that's impossible. You're a countess. Dear, all my husband left me was his noble title and all his noble debts. <laughs> oh. Well, that looked like an awful lot of money you were tipping those delivery men. Well, I have to keep up appearances. And that was my farewell appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Mr. Mooney. Oh, dear. Who's Mr. Mooney? Oh, he's the president of our local bank. A banker? Yeah. Oh, say, man, you speak. In my financial condition, a banker is just the man I'd like to meet. Like to meet, dearie. Have to meet. Well, you can meet him and lots of luck. <laughs> we call him the miserly Mr. Mooney. Oh, you do. Come in. Oh, Excuse thank me. Thank you very much. Uh, just go uh, around that blue trunk there. Oh, that uh, where? Uh, oh, that's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you out of the bank? Don't tell me I'm overdrawn again. Undoubtedly. But that is not why I'm here. Oh. Now, I heard that you had the charming Countess Framboise staying with you. That's right. What about it? <laughs> what, what about it? Well, I, I just love to meet her. Oh. Well, I'll see if that can be arranged. Would you step back behind the trunk, please? <laughs> Countess, dear, are you receiving this afternoon? Oh, darling, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. <laughs> well, you heard the Countess. Any friend of mine is a friend of hers, so that freezes you out. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Carmichael, you have a great sense of humor. Oh, you do. You please introduce us. <laughs> All right. Uh, Countess, dear, may I present our leading banker, Mr. Mooney? Mr. Mooney, my oldest and dearest friend, the charming Countess Framboise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's a great pleasure meeting you, Countess. Oh, and the pleasure is mutual, Mr. Money. <laughs> Uh, Mooney, Mooney, yes. The, the reason I'm here, Countess, is because I have just been elected president of the Danfield Wine Tasting Society. Oh, Helen. Yes, and perhaps you would honor us by attending our meeting tonight? Oh, tonight? Oh, a wine tasting society? Yes. That sounds très gay. Oh, yes. Well, at uh, uh, what time should Mrs. Carmichael and I be there? Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Car... Uh, well, I, I rather thought that Mrs. Carmichael would be busy tonight. Dream on. I'm free as a bird. <laughs> oh, uh, well, we'll be happy to have you both attend. <clears throat> it will be at 8.30 in the gourmet room of the Danfield Hotel. Uh, we'll be there. Are we there in the meets as well? Oh, indeed. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, goodbye. Oh, I'm so sorry. Countess. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, well. Mr. Mooney. Yes. <laughs> I will treasure that kiss, Mr. Mooney. It's the only thing you've ever given me without charging interest. Uh, go goodbye, ladies. Uh, uh, goodbye, Mr. Money. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that Mooney. Well, this is it. There's Mr. Mooney and Mrs. Valance, the society columnist. And that's Danfield Society? Yep. You sure you want to crash it? <laughs> well, it isn't much, but it's all we've got. Well, come on, let's make the best of it, huh? All right. Oh, oh, a Countess! Countess Framboise! I... Here comes Mr. Mooney. Oh, goody, we're airborne. <laughs> oh. Good evening, Count. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Countess Framboise. Enchanté. Enchanté. <coughs> and now, shall we get on with the business at hand? Uh, to the wine? Tally-ho! Tally-ho. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Right over here. Hey, you see what I see? Well, I don't know. Where are you looking? At the tables, they aren't set. I don't think we're getting any dinner. Oh, I'm sure they'll serve later. Well, I hope so. I'm starved. Well, so am I. We haven't had any lunch, even. You know, uh, uh, Countess, over this way, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, our first wine is a Bordeaux, oh, a bottled Bordeaux. in 1935. Ah. Yes, by the vineyards of Chateau Mont Blanc, Sassou. Oh, no, Sassou, very well. Yeah, there. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Is he drinking it or inhaling it? <laughs> He's trying to enjoy the aroma. Well, I'd enjoy the aroma of a hot dog right about now. <laughs> Lucy, you're supposed to sip it slowly. Well, I have to do something to kill the hunger pangs. <laughs> It didn't hurt. Good. <laughs> and uh, now, perhaps our honored guest would give her opinion of this wine, Countess. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it's an excellent wine. It's sort of, um, well, je ne sais quoi. I could describe it as a sort of a combination of nectar and ambrosia. <sighs> What do you think, Lucille, darling? <laughs> well, I, I could definitely describe it as ambrosiatic. And <laughs> now, uh, uh, if you will, uh, Countess, we'll move down to this. Oh, table. yes, thank you very yes, much. Uh, right here. Yes. Now, this next wine... <laughs> this wine is a burgundy. Ah, yes. Yes, from the Saône and Loire. Oh, Loire, yes. yes. Oh, now, Loire. this was bottled in 1959. Uh -huh. A most 
excellent year for burgundy. Oh, thank you. There for you are. Burgundies. Mm. Wasn't a bad year no. for hot dogs either. No. <laughs> uh, you uh, give your opinion of this wine. Well, I think it's very good for a domestic wine. Domestic wine? This came from France. Well, that's where I come from. <laughs> oh, that's telling them, Rosie. Yes, uh... <laughs> now, uh, uh, shall we, if you will, uh, follow me, please, oh, to yes, our next delighted. wine. Yes, right over this one. Oh, this is where. Right over here, if you will. Now, this wine is a delicate Chablis. Ah, Chablis, Sante, Sante. With an indescribably delectable bouquet. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, it's known for its full-bodied aroma. Mm -hmm. The fragrance is alluring, <laughs> enchanting, and exotic. <laughs> He puts a dab of it behind his ear, so help me, I'll belt him. I'll drink to that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well, this is indeed one of my favorite wines. Yes, well, I have oh, to... pardon me, Mr. Mooney. Mm -hmm. If this is one of your favorite wines... And it is. Oh, well, then I would like to propose a toast to a very deserving gentleman. Our new club president, Mr. Theodore J. Mooney. I'll bring the <laughs> Let us all move on to wine number nine. <laughs> Us any food. I don't care if I never eat again. What do you think of that, baby? Uh, <laughs> come on, let's get on to wine number nine. All right, wine number nine. Hey, you know, that's like poetry. Wine number nine. It tickles my spine. <laughs> Let's take a taxi. <laughs> I would say that this is a very tough corner to get a taxi on. <laughs> okay. Let's hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it while I... Oh, you look lovely in that hat. Thank you, darling. Continue. <laughs> now, our ninth wine is a sherry from India. Oh, all the way from India. Now. By elephant, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> you will uh, you'll notice the color. It's light brown. Oh, light brown. <laughs> I dream of eating Countess, ladies, as I was saying, this sherry was bottled in an excellent year, 1939. <laughs> 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 he shouldn't have said anything like that. <laughs> was this sherry was bottled in an excellent year, 1939. He said it again. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, now, 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 Lucy, what happened? Did you hear what he said, Rosie? Oh, yes, I did. He just said 1939 was an excellent year. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our last wine. And as is our custom, we always finish with the champagne. Oh, I love champagne. Yes. And we are fortunate indeed tonight to have a very distinguished champagne from Epernay. Oh, Epernay? Yes. Oh, yes. Gasson, thank you very much. You go get some for the rest of the folks. <laughs> And now, I should like to propose a final toast. Oh, let's drink a final toast to the president of the Wine Tasting Society. Here's to what? What's his name again? Whose name? Mooney. I don't know. <laughs> what difference does it make? To the president. <laughs> I think out of respect for our honored guests, we should all rise and drink the toast to our charming visitor, our countess, and our lovely Mrs. Carmichael. So let us all rise and say, 